Oral sex was actually illegal in Canada up until 1969. So you got to hand it to the Canucks. They have a good sense of humor. As Sarah Aspler at BuzzFeed reports, Canadian law prohibited homosexual acts and sodomy, which actually included oral sex and, a- and anal sex under the statute until 1969. A lot of, um, like, Georgia has shit like that, too, though. Which, which the they, sex, they, which the they sex get toy thing is wild. No, that's quite crazy. By contrast, the U.S. didn't toss out its oral sex laws until, bitch, tw- Hold on, so are there just no sex shops? I don't get it. The Supreme Court struck down anti-sodomy laws in 14 states in the Lawrence versus Texas, um, what's that called when it's the versus case? Right? Case? Yeah. Lawrence versus Texas case, bitch. (laughs) I was like, I was like, what the fuck? The versus, bitch. Diddy, Ciroc, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't do this. <laughs> like when, Hold on, when I they put like the, the person versus someone else, scores. or the person versus the state, that's a case. This is what I really want because I'm confused. Court, like, it's a case. So you just court don't. Case. But they do have sex shops. Maybe it's the dildo, bitch. And there's an obscenity uh, thing. So it's still illegal. However, they have sex toy shops. I don't know. That's what. Listen, this this comes from a source, Astro Glide, but everything is hyperlinked. So hold on. Let me get the get the get the tea. So what is it just it's in Huntsville. They have one in Birmingham. So what is it? Is it just elite? Like how do these niggas go? I don't know. You can't really get caught. By the way, uh you can search this the marshallproject.org. Um which gives out I guess all these like look, kind of these little type of weird shits that's going on. Maybe they don't have like things for genitalia then. Or maybe yeah, it might be what it is. Maybe they have like um A rule. Or maybe there's no dildos. Maybe there's other things, but not dildos. It specifically says dildos in Alabama. Hold on. Sex shops were illegal in New York for a while, too? Ain't no way, bitch. Not all these hoes. A panel of state appeals court judges have followed. Okay. See? She crazy. Nigga, are we okay? No. They... How do they want... Okay, hold on. This is an article from eight years ago, though, for New York. But it's a credible source. It's a New York um, news outlet. Okay. Pix. It's a channel to Pix 11. It's official. Sex shops are legal in New York for now. That's what a panel of state appeal court judges have ruled following a legal issue that's been carried out for 14 years where they have been begging to ban the city from being the X-rated capital of America. That's what they believed it had been Bitch, because and, of Times and Square. Because the sex clubs here is late. It's a, oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Wow. So apparently we have 60 to 40 sex. We had 60 to 40 sex shops in an area Probably that they were trying to square. wipe out. Um, it said, let me see. Shit crazy around here. Yeah, I guess yeah. sex businesses are. Wow. Yeah. This is what. Oh, yeah. From 42nd to 44th. Yeah. Street. So before Disney came and was a part of Times Square, like where they brought the Lion King and all those things, Times Square was the sex district. And then right. we also know that Meatpacking District where all the clubs and nice restaurants are now, used to be prostitutes specifically for the gays and trans uh, sex Speaking workers. Speaking of which, in meatpacking. I want you guys, Mandy, and I've been trying to tell her, well, you, you'll, you'll really enjoy it. We're going to try to do a cinema soon of The Stroll on HBO. I want y'all to check it out before we do the cinema. Yeah. It's about the trans prostitutes in New York in the meatpacking district um, that existed. It was only like, not that long ago. Yeah. Maybe in like the Bro, 50s I mean, and it's 60s. TV. Yeah, no, it's crazy. It's really good. Now, I do want to say, since I've been looking up what um, Mandy was talking about, I found something that tells you where um, sex toys are illegal while traveling. Oh, bitch, Singapore. Bitch, when I live in Thailand, too. Oh, you could not bring a sex toy into Singapore and to get around watching porn, just get a VPN. But nothing sex was allowed in Singapore when I was over there. This is so sick. Bitch, you know why I have my a VPN? I was tired, bitch. I have a VPN when I travel because I need to watch 90 Day Fiance. That's I'm, I'm weak. Saudi Arabia. Um, it's that, considered pornographic yeah. material and it's Islamic law. It's same yep. with the UAE. Yep. Thailand, although a thriving sex tourism industry, they believe that obscene objects are sex toys. Yep. Vietnam, it'll be taken by customs and you can get them back when you go. Malaysia. I ain't gonna hold you. I need to know how many sex toys are being held up in TSA and the goddamn lost and found area until I leave. You know, I did a for <laughs> fact sake episode with Eddie about a lost and found. That's crazy. Of one of the craziest lost and founds you can find. 
are at casinos. Oh, I believe it. What kind of things do you find? Because when I tell you, you're going to be like, what? Probably butt plugs. I would assume the bitches is walking around with butt plugs. And when they sit down while they rich niggas is gambling. Okay. C- Stop out. thinking in that world oh. and start thinking of walking into a casino okay. in the daytime. What are the type of people you see? White people that smoke cigarettes. They find a lot of dentures. Oh. Girl, that- Austin Vegas? Oxygen tanks. No. Canes. I- oh, wow. Old people. Okay. Cell phones. Cell phones is Jerry everywhere. Shit. But when I saw dentures, they have so many dentures. How do you lose your teeth, bro? You put them down in a cup. That's so nasty. Girl. Well, I wanted to get to the myth real quick before we get into our horrible decision. So the myth that we would like to bust here for y'all is pineapples won't actually make your semen taste better. Sure, asparagus really can make your pee smell, but loading up on pineapple isn't going to make your ta- your semen Tastes like a delicious fruit salad. Casey Gurren spoke with OBGYN Dr. Jennifer Gunter, who stated that eating pineapple won't really affect the taste of semen one way or another. The best way to actually improve your taste is by eating a balanced diet, drinking plenty of water, and practicing good hygiene. So, fellas, if you think drinking all that goddamn fruit cocktail before we go down and suck that dick, just know it doesn't really help. I don't believe that. There that. I mean, it's a myth buster. The doctor said it don't. I mean, I, I've seen a trend, though, in like, okay, so dating a vegan nigga. But that's a balanced diet. It's overall what they're eating. So, like, you just downing some pineapple juice before you have sex is not going to make your semen taste better if you don't have a balanced diet. I don't, I'm going to tell y'all, though, what the best taste in semen. Um, You're going to tell us the best taste in semen. My first boyfriend I've ever had was the worst. Oh. I was with him for a few years and we lived together. He was on a lot of like, I remember specifically creatine. It was like, bleh. it was like this metal. Oh, the protein, like protein powder? Not what's creatine? protein powder. It's something else. I think it's like strength and muscles, but he would just take a lot of supplements. Okay. Worst. Which um, normally helps because it's vitamins. Mm-hmm. But okay. Um, I actually, a girl that only ate um, fish and, no, no, not fish. She ate, uh, she was on keto when I was fucking with her. Hated her smell. Oof. Okay. And well, that makes sense. You're eating a lot of fats. Yeah. Healthy fats. Really bad. Um, best and dairy. Best was vegan. Dairy, I don't know if I can recall. Well, no, keto is a lot of dairy. It's a lot of dairy. It's a lot of healthy fats. And then uh, lean meats. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to think. There was another one that was really bad. Oh, he was uh, a wine drinker only. And he would have glasses and glasses of wine all the time. Oh. And that shit was tasted acidic. It was pungent. Terrible. Um, Sour. The best have been vegans. That's the truth. Now, I'm not willing to give that up because my pussy clean, but whatever. I mean, I I, I just think I'm God's chosen one. Uh, I have really good, like, nut tasting niggas. It be good. It be good. What? Y'all know I get the big dicks that last long, go long. They ain't shit. But I'm God's chosen with my period and with my big dick radar. Like, Speaking it's really of clean, clean pussy, I had some head a few days ago. Whoa. Same. Oh, wow. my. Oh, it was right after you said it. I was yeah, like, literally. I Literally, I texted him the next day and said, you suck some good pussies. I thought I was going to. I said, sir. I thought I was going to pass out. And I remember, like, specifically at one point, it was so good that I was like, I had to look at this nigga. But I was on the couch. He was like kneeled down on the couch, under the couch. Like, I don't know if he, that nigga was eye level with my pussy or what, bitch. That shit was good. And I think his tongue was going really fast, which I didn't think I'd be into. But like, oh, my God. And when they moan into your pussy. Ooh, that's the hoarder. There you go. Because we talk about men moaning a lot. But like moaning into my shit. While you shit? eating a puss. Mm. Oh, I know it's good. And y'all know I don't even care for head. I, I had to go on stage and talk about how good that motherfucking head was. Oh, baby. I know. I see it. I saw that that was right. Y'all, it is summer in New York. And I think apparently from these California, the Canada fires, like they're all down. It, it's in my house too. And I'm like, bitch, I'm on the 16th floor. Where Are you serious? I swear to God. Like I can't leave my windows open. They're everywhere. Bitch, I feel like I got a net in my eye. Bitch, they're fucking everywhere. 